Welcome to Web3 Insights. My name is Ray, and today I'm bringing you another potential airdrop. And this project is called Seal, and they've just launched their testnet on the SUI blockchain. So without wasting much time, let's jump into it and understand exactly what we need to do to position ourselves for, for this potential airdrop and also to learn what this project is about, bearing in mind that this is an educational channel. So we, we're going to learn what it is about. So yes, let's jump into it. Okay. So first of all, to understand, you know, who is behind this project called SEAL. Okay. So SEAL is a project built by Mistin Labs. Okay. So now who is Mistin Labs? Mistin Labs uh, is the company that is built, you know, the, this this project. So, Mr. Labs, they built Zoe, which is the blockchain. They built Warus, which is a decentralized storage data and availability protocol. And Warus, last month, end of March, they did the airdrop. They, they launched the Warus token. And, you know, this was a good airdrop to those who who managed to get this token. I did a video on it and I showed you uh, the claim process and the options that were available of what to do. But this was a very good airdrop. And I know people with weird, uh, you know, very good amounts of token and they, they quite get a huge airdrop from them. Mr. Labs is the same company that has built, th that designed the Move programming language. Okay. Which is, which is they, they are saying it's a bad language for blockchain and projects because it's object oriented, unlike Rust and Solidity, which, which has been used before. And they've done Deep Book, another good project. And again, Deep Book had, a, had an airdrop, a good one too. And now they are coming with another new project, which is called Miss 10, which is called Seal. Okay. So this is the project. Uh, and it's on testnet right now. So let's quickly go to to find out more about that. So Mistin Labs launches SEAL decentralized secrets management on testnet. All right. So this is still on testnet. Okay. Now, why why are we interested in that? It means that as airdrop farmers, this is an opportunity for us to get in early and uh, you know start interacting with the testnet and you know, there's a there's potential for airdrop. And why do we say that? Because now we know these projects that are being built by Mr. Labs, they are doing good airdrops. Deep Book had a good airdrop recently, or us had another airdrop. And, you know, so yeah, very, very bullish on this. So now, what do you have to do? So that's the main thing, you know, without wasting much time, what do we have to do? But before that, look, they, this was announced on the 3rd April third of april okay today is the fifth so this is just two days in and you know this is good because we are getting into this test net you know very early and that can set us up for a good airdrop should they decide to to do an airdrop okay so there's information about what it is here a decentralized seal is a decentralized secrets management service okay so for those who are interested in learning more about this, you know, come to this site. I'll put links in the description below. So to get to the testnet page, so you want to go click this link and it will take you to the testnet uh, page. OK, so you can actually see here that's the seal website. OK, and, you know, it even tells you here that right now seal is currently in testnet. Okay, SEAL is currently in testnet. Okay, what that means is that uh, nothing is live and the token is not yet available. So anyone or any website or link saying SEAL is being, uh, trying to sell you that, you should know that is karma and stay away. Right, good. So now what do you need to do to get, uh, you know, to how do you interact with this testnet? Okay, so that's the next thing that we need to understand. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so now to interact with the test net, first of all, you need to come here to the example, right? So you want to click here 
okay and then first thing would be to connect your wallet all right so when you come here see examples below for those who are interested in the code you come here these examples are for testnet only right so first thing connect wallet okay so you need to connect your wallet your sui wallet and one of the things you need to do is you need to make sure when you get into your wallet you want to change it from mainnet to testnet okay because you're interacting with the testnet so make sure that you find a setting on your wallet that will help you to to connect your wallet and set it to testnet okay so i've connected my wallet and for those who haven't done it you would need to click here to the faucet and get testnet tokens another way would be to 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 go to you know to the sui the sui a discord so i can quickly do it to show you so if i go to sui discord no i will not do that i'll just i'll just remain where i was here yeah, i think it's better so but anyway you can go to sui discord and you can get sui testnet tokens okay that's one way of doing it but i don't want to make this i don't want to make this video very long so we want to focus on you know what you need to do if you don't know how to get the sui testnet tokens i will do a separate video for that but ideally you can just click here add your wallet address and then you can get the sui testnet tokens right now you, why do you need sui testnet tokens is because you will use them to pay for the gas fees as you do the and confirmations right so first one is you do what they are saying is an allow list okay now as i told you you need to learn more about what this is about but we are doing it to just interact with the testnet so you'd come here try it okay and then you want to create an allow list okay i've already done one and you can see here i've created you know about a number of them okay so you can manage you know you can manage here and you know it to show you what to do but anyway let me quickly focus on the testnet okay so go back again here so what you do is you want to put your wallet uh, the name of your of whatever analysis you are creating so we can call it test right so it's, it's you just call it test right create allow list and then you would need to connect your wallet so i'm connecting my wallet here All right remember this for testnet purposes so yeah be patient and you know that's how you do you have to do it like that so connect wallet connect it right okay do it again okay good i'm now connected okay so you then you create the allow list so you can see now test allow test test allow list test has been created then here what you need to do is to put your wallet address okay so i would come here again and uh, i mean into the wallet and this time i'm looking for my wallet address so it, you'd put your wallet address here okay once you've done that i don't know why my wallet address is not coming for some reason okay there is coming okay so i'll just copy my wallet address copy and put it here okay so there you go put my wallet address and you add wallet address it will ask you to confirm the transaction so confirm and then uh, i need to put password again to confirm okay let me let me see the characters i'm putting yes okay and yeah then you confirm so once you confirm you will notice it will accept my my address here okay so let's see you can see here my address has been allowed here right so now the next thing is you then want to to go and upload a file okay so here i'm using i try to use this because these are just nodes which are going to store whatever files you are making so i, I was using i tried this one it's not working so you need to use this one okay just means maybe the website is down or something then you choose file file and then i'll just put put a tree somewhere in the pictures so yeah i'll just put this abundance tree this should be okay okay and then you upload there you go put my then takes a bit of time there you go you can see it is 
it has been uploaded then you just want to associate the file with to the sui object associate the file to sui object so you do that to ask you to to confirm on your with on, in your wallet okay so you do that okay i approve again my wallet i've got a double password so it takes some time so again i have to approve then there you go okay yeah now it's approved so you can see now it tells you blob successfully blob attached successfully now you can share the link or upload more say okay so now i can share the link here share this link and we'll just say download and decrypt the files and then you sign again put my password here yeah so you can put as many as you want as many of these allow lists as you want so you can see i've done that should come with a confirmation you see i told you so you see view all files so you see that's that's what i just uploaded this abundance tree okay now so when we've done that it means we have done the example for creating an allow list okay so this is the one we're doing here so if i come here and i say view all allow list you can see i've done that and the last one i recently did is the test you can see this is the one yeah that is how you interact with the testnet now there's also another part which is because there's the allow list and the subscription example now this one will quickly do it again because remember when we are testing this you want to interact with as many parts of the testnet as possible again trying to position yourself for the airdrop so you come try it and for here just put you can put any number i, I can put 10 in the midst there duration we can say maybe 120 minutes name of service so we can say test service okay so obviously you put whatever service you want when you are creating it okay service okay then just then create service yeah and then again whenever it does that when you do that you need to do your confirmations in your wallet i have to confirm in the wallet okay to do a confirmation approve and then password again okay that's it then <clears throat> you unlock okay so you see i've done let's see what message i should get here okay yeah so you see test service service test service created right so again you can the file again to so to show to link it to this one i'm just going to use the same abundance tree encrypt it's quite a process but you know <laughs> that's 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 gotta be done so you can see here it's, it's done yeah created then if you want to link it to the object again same thing we did so but this is for the service okay so I'll put password okay need to approve i think yeah approve then password again okay that's it right so you see again blob attached successfully so basically we are we are uploading these blobs which are being stored on on the storage decentralized storage okay so with that you know i've i've shown you the examples of how to do them how to create a, a, an allow list and how to do the subscription example and we are discussing this project called seal okay so without you know saying more i mean I've, I've taken a bit more time on this project but i thought it would be it would benefit you to at least know how to interact with the test net especially in this early stage and you know this will position you for you know for airdrop and all that now that being said you know I would really like to know your thoughts regarding this project. Uh, you know, do your own research about these projects. And, you know, the good thing about this kind of testnet is that you don't have to use your money, okay? Same thing with Warras. Warras, I'm telling you, was a, a big airdrop. And there was not a single time whereby you had to use money. It was simply interacting with the software, just like what we're doing. A few clicks here and there, you know. And, you know... Uh, our team, we got like a thousand tokens, which is currently trading at about five hundred pound, five hundred dollars. But I've got friends who 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 had like, um, and I've got a friend who got almost like forty, more than forty, forty thousand, forty k worth of token. You know, which if you 
if you to trade that, if he's to trade that to sell that, that's around maybe about twenty thousand dollars. So, and this this is something that that's happening, and this was from a, a project on Sui, no man involved, just interacting. So that's why I'm bullish with this one seal. And the good thing is, like as I showed you, the testnet was launched on the third of April, and today's only the fifth. So very bullish. You know, so I, I really welcome you and would, you know, encourage you to, you know, test this um, because there's a good potential reward. But again, not financial ad advice, you know, do your own research and, you know, uh, remember this is testnet token, so you're not using real money. So that being said, if you're enjoying content from, you know, the channel, please like and subscribe we are always trying to find you early very early projects and also projects that you don't have to use your money and you know get some some decent airdrops so with that that's the end of the video i will put links in the description below so that you know exactly where to go so that you don't end up with scam uh, websites and all that so thank you very much i'll see you next time when i come in with another airdrop